Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look into how to create a cinematic title sequence as well as giving you guys three cinematic title presets to download in the description. All right, welcome back to another video, guys. My name's Jack. Basically, on screen right now is uh, Premiere Pro. Essentially, I've got three presets that I spent some time building that are just nice cinematic title presets. And then I'm also going to look uh, into how to actually create one from scratch, which I'm going to show you all in today's video. But if you're interested in video editing, video production of any sorts, or how to make money making videos, then be sure to subscribe because that's literally all I do on my channel. It's the entire theme that my channel is based around. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, here we are. Um, overall, something just to point out while I play these sample scenes that I've created is that a cinematic title is uh, really not even that much focused on the text. The nicest cinematic titles are very simplistic text that just complement an extremely nice visual. So these are three different presets you can download in the description right now. Um, you know, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna come with three preset files, title one, title two, title three, and it's all gonna come in a RAR file. Download that down below in the link uh, in the description. And essentially, um, you know what I mean? These these titles, all they do is they're really simplistic and all they do is complement the, um, complement the visual. And this visual right here is not stock footage, but by all means, this is taken from my friend's drone, the, uh, the, the Mavic Air. I'll link the review down below in the description. We created a whole review for this, went up to broke into this abandoned castle and, and really got some amazing footage at Golden Hour, as you can see here. Um, and essentially these cinematic titles are available in the description and they are just three cool different titles. Um, one that's, that's the center right here, coming in from the center, nicely fitting into that castle right there. Then there was this one over here coming in from the right hand side where it kind of just flies on nice and simplistic again. And uh, you know, that, that is me jumping down into the castle. Um, and then it obviously chops over here to a nice one on the left. Now, by all means, um, um, in the pack, uh, you're gonna have the fonts for all of these because they all use different fonts as well. So by all means, get the pack, download the fonts, and then, um, uh, then you'll be in business. And to show you how to actually do this, uh, to uh, how to apply the preset, all you gotta do is create a new text layer. So let's press T. And uh, don't even write anything on it. Just create a brand new text layer that's a completely blank graphic right there. Now we just go to effects, presets, and you want to just uh, import the presets. So there they are, um, all three of them. I've already imported them, but all you have to do is right click and then go uh, import preset. And essentially, if I drag on cinematic title number one to this graphic and I hit play, boom. You don't have to do anything but do that. And now you can click, uh, click on it and change the title. So we could change this to uh, da 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 ha 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 something random like that and boom it will fade on start moving in and then fade out with this really nice uh, you know spread out text that we've got working with there the spread out font but hypothetically speaking say we wanted to uh, you know what I mean create one from scratch this right here is a uh, very high, heavily color corrected scene right here hold on I'm just gonna render it into out and we're gonna walk through how we actually would um, create one from scratch. I'm going to show you very quickly. It's not a hard process at all. By all means, it's very simplistic in nature to create a cinematic title sequence because not to repeat myself for the third time, but I'm going to do it anyways. A cinematic title just complements an extremely nice visual. It's not super in your face uh, and focusing on the actual graphic itself. But here is that scene without the black bars actually. Uh, the black bars do make it much more cinematic. So I'm going to drag over the black bars as well um, and actually just pre-render that in and out again. And then I'm just going to create a text layer and just show you guys how I do, do a simple cinematic, uh, you know, a cinematic title. So let's click on this, uh, you know, boom, that's rendered now. Um, all we got to do is press T, create a brand new graphic. Hold on, that's clearly glitched out for a second. And let's just go ahead and call this a uh, sample title. Now uh, that's selecting it in the same font that I used the other one in, which is pretty cool. It's a nice font to be honest. Let's, uh, let's use it. Let's open up our graphics panel and just go ahead and center it. Boom. So all we got to do is click those two and it's gonna be centered, okay? Now we wanna scroll over a little bit, click on it, and uh, essentially, right here is the title itself. So we do wanna kinda keep it pretty small like that. Um, overall, if we come back to editing, it's looking pretty nice, and uh, now what I wanna do is just line it up. So I wanna go to a point that it will start, so I want, I want it to kinda start and fade out, or fade out just at, this, at a similar point to where the original one faded out, right? So kinda just before the end, right? Just about, about, about there, maybe a little bit more in. 
so that it just goes over the peak. And all you want to do is just line it up so that it's fitting really nice into your visual. Okay, it wants to fit really nice in there. Now, what I would do next is I would just do a simple fade in. So I'd play it for a second, and then actually just go down here to opacity, click a keyframe, go to the beginning, change that to zero, and just we've now created a nice simple fade. Then I would just come to a similar position to the end, so probably around here, and then just go ahead and tap that, bring it over, and turn it down again a bit. And now if we give this a play, this is going to, uh, from the beginning of course, it is going to fade in, and then it's going to work its way through the castle, and then fade out just as it gets to that tip right there. In fact, I might even bring it back a tiny little bit, just like that. Um, now there's another small detail that I do to my cinematic titles, um, and that is just a slight increase in the scale. So I would go to a point where the title is meant to be matching and it's meant to be in a good position. For example, here where it's kind of fitting into the middle of this castle as we go by. And um, what I'm actually gonna do is, uh, you know, just go ahead and click the keyframe. And uh, actually just go ahead and drag that um, to the end. And then just go here and go ahead and press uh, about 80, something like that. So it just makes it a little bit smaller and then bring that to the beginning. Now, if we actually go render this in to out, we will have created a very cool cinematic title that essentially fades in and then works its way, uh, works the scale up a little bit to fit into the middle of this castle. So it fades in nice and simplistic and then just builds up to fade out right there. Basically, as you can see, super minimalistic, super simplistic. Overall, this title just complements the visual and then fades out, boom, right as I put my hands up on the top of the castle. And that is me right there. Like I said, again, there's not no stock footage. This looks absolutely amazing color corrected, really. Um, and this was a golden hour in the countryside at an abandoned castle. But that right there is an example of how you would actually go ahead and create your own animated title. And there's also something that, that, that I kind of do as well, which just makes it stand out a little bit more, which you, you know, this is optional by all means, but I just go ahead and type in drop shadow. I was just going to put a little bit of a shadow on it, okay? Um, now again, my stuff's glitching out. Um, and let's go ahead and put this down below the adjustment layer. Give this a play. And now you can see there is a title, a, a little shadow attached to it that's just making it stand, uh, stand out a tiny bit more, okay? It's just making it a little bit more defined. And overall, pre-rendering this one more time to actually have one final look at it. And as you can see right there, it is looking extremely nice. The simple title is, is fading its way up and then fades its way out right at the end just massively complimenting this scene right here with a very simple title. You know, think about think about a title that could ruin this as well. If this is a really nice title, what's the opposite? Probably a massive title all the way across the screen, essentially ruining the actual beautiful visual that this really is. This is an amazing shot with the drone. Hands down, uh, you know, my friend whose drone this even is, I'm pretty sure he told me that's the nicest shot I've ever got with this drone. Um, <laughs> believe me, it's an amazing shot. And uh, overall, if I go ahead and just play all of these back to back now, we will have created and uh, you know succeeded in creating some very cool um, animated cinematic titles that again you guys can download in the description down below. If I just go ahead and get this one up, sorry, that's just playing. That's what it's going to look like over here. Obviously, these are the pre-mades that are in use currently. Uh, you know that's lagging from here a bit, having that other file open. Um, and overall, guys, you can just drag and drop these to a text layer. Let me just go ahead and demonstrate that again. Create a graphic. Go over here to your uh, to your imports once you've imported them, and then just go ahead and drag it on. And uh, if we give this a play, boom, that's a cinematic title coming out from the right-hand side. If we undo that and, uh, and bring it over here, uh, boom, that's a cinematic title coming in from the left-hand side. And, uh, you know, just fading out nicely in that cinematic title one. Boom, that's a title coming in from the middle again. All of these presets downloadable in the description down below, guys. And the, the, uh, the fonts that they obviously need to work are also in that file. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. Subscribe for more video production themed content every single week without a fail. Thanks for watching and goodbye.